Hello, back again, strong web, scottsofi.co.uk, scottsofi.com, you can follow me on Twitter at dbdbroke and Instagram and friend me on Facebook and some other social media stuff. It's still lockdown, week two, Sunday, 5th of April, and I'm going to review another whiskey. Uh, this is... A sample I was sent uh, by Elixir Distilleries, sister company of Whiskey Exchange, sister company of all those kind of uh, range of companies. Um, and it's uh, for a whiskey that you can't get anymore and I haven't tried it and I'm going <laughs> to try it now and I'm going to go, well, I hope I don't like it, be honest with you. Um, we shall see. I've never tried it before. A uh, sample was sent me and it's... Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Whiskey Exchange people, Billy, etc. Billy, Ollie, etc. Um, this is, uh, they did a range of uh, three bottlings for um, their reserve cask label kind of thing, which I think is on the single Malt for Scotland label-ish subdivision. Um, and that was made up of a, a Kalila 11-year-old, a Orkney 12-year-old, don't know where that's from, Harlem Park, probably. And uh, Glen Elgin, 13-year-old, which is the one I'm going to review now. Glen Elgin, 13-year-old. It's bottled at 48% ABV. It's going to be... It's not going to have colouring in that, is it? Look at it. That's no colouring in that. Um, it's going to be colouring free. It's going to be non chill filtered. And um, knowing those guys, it'll probably be really nice. And just before this video, I thought, oh, check, see if they got stock. They ain't got stock. They ain't actually got stock of any of those reserve casks anymore. Um, they were all, like, vattings of four or five casks kind of thing. And they... they have on the label that it was released one and stuff like that so i'm guessing there'll be more coming whether it'll be the same distillery same age and all that kind of stuff and try to make it the same profile i don't know but um it might be so um still worth keeping on still worth trying i'm gonna be really uh, annoyed if i like it um maybe it's been distributed elsewhere and i haven't looked i didn't see it pop up in google in all honesty so i think it's probably exclusive to them but I don't know for sure. Again, I do wonderful research me. I don't just go, you know, what, sod it and bored. I've got an hour. Let's do this. Um, I do. That's exactly what I do. Okay. So, Glen Elgin, 13-year-old, uh, reserve cask, uh, Elixir Distilleries. Or Elixir Distillers. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it smells nice. It's Glen Elgin, it's fruity, it's really fruity, it's a fruit bomb, it's a proper crazy orchard basket. <laughs> it could describe me. Crazy basket of orchards. Um, lots of ripe apple, little bit of pear. Fair wallop of vanilla. Wallop. Bit spicy, some cinnamon in there. Maybe a hint of pepper or that kind of thing. Even touch of salt now, I've said that. I'm thinking salt and pepper. I, I, it's getting up to tea time. I might be getting hungry. <laughs> but fruit dominating. So. Uh, Glen Elgin generally I find is is very very fruity um, spirit and very nice for it and this is no exception on the nose so palatey 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 palate I have no idea how much this was. That is really quite nice. Um, bloody hell. A very, very fruity. Should have tried this sooner, shouldn't I? That's the trouble. We just... Oh, anyway. There we go. Just kick myself. I'm kicking myself if you didn't know what that was. <laughs> it was me kicking myself. Okay. What's it like?
was really fruity. Fruity. This reminds me of pear drops. Just absolutely 100% the pear drop sweets. But sweeter. Um, no. No, because pear drops are quite sweet. For some reason, I've, I, I associate them with being more acidic, but they're not. They're, no, it's pear drops. This is bloody liquid pear drops. It's liquid pear drops. On the palate. On the nose is a little bit more than that, but on the palate, it's just pear drops, man. Right, anyway, it's not that, and it's not that one-sided, it's just I'm really picking up on the pear drops. Okay, so. Very fruity. A little bit of drying element in there. But, Jesus, just pear drop city. Little bit of spice, cinnamony kind of really sweet spice, little bit of vanilla. Sweet shops galore, but pear drops. It's just me. Somebody else tastes this goes like pear drops, isn't it? Here it is, in my opinion. Just an opinion. God, that's really nice. <laughs> I don't know how much it was. It, uh, Billy, Whiskey Exchange people, do us a favour. When it goes out of stock, can you keep a price on there anyway? I mean, that might not be in your best interest in the long run, in all fairness, but... I don't know. It'd just be handy to know how much it was. I'm going to have a guess that it was probably... <laughs> no, I'm guessing. This is just completely guess. I'd pay 60 quid for that. Now, I could be wrong, and it might have been 70 I'd think about that a bit harder, but if that was like 60 quid or less, I'd be on that. I'd be on it like a car bonnet. I bet it wasn't 60, I bet it was 80, wasn't it? I'm really curious now. Anyway, I'll ask Billy later. Um, pear drops, a little bit of spice in the finish, a little bit of spice and dryingness in the finish. A little bit of ginger. Still sweet, lovely in mouth coating. It's just going through, it's just... That's a drinker. That's a drinker and a half. Very good. All right. Bollocks. Um, annoying. Uh, honestly annoying. But that's whiskey for you. What are you going to do about it? If you bought a bottle of this, well done. If you haven't drank it yet and you don't really want it, I'll give you six quid. <laughs> there you go. How's that? I really should check how much it is first. Um, but there you go. So anyway, oh God. That'll do for now. Um, that's that one done. Um, move on to the next one. Cheerio. Oh, stay at home. <laughs>